I ordered the uh, Vantage View weather station because I want to um, get a good accurate assessment of how much wind I do have in the backyard. I'm uh, planning on building a homemade uh, wind turbine and I figured I wanted to be able to compare myself to what a production or commercial unit would be able to do. So I figured the best way to do that would be to get an accurate idea of how much wind there actually is so that I can compare the results that I get from my uh, homemade wind turbine. I picked this one up off uh, Amazon. I'll put the link on their website so you can order that if you're interested in doing the same. The reason I picked this model is it's about, it's a little more expensive than most of your uh, residential units. However, it's the only one that seemed to have really good, accurate, and reliable data. You can go even more expensive, but I felt like this was about the minimum you could spend and still have a really good, reliable set of data. Okay, here I'm going to unpack the box. We'll see what we get included, and I'm going to go through the basic setup and then I will finish with showing you some of the results and how it's been working for my installation. I have this pointed so that my solar cell is to the south. I mounted it to our uh, galvanized fence post that I've just driven to the ground. I have it about six feet off the ground. be a delay in that or my um oh there we're picking up they're showing rain yep okay so my rain sensor is also working i'm still figuring out how this works a little bit but uh we've had it up for two days now and if we go to the main page We're seeing our current wind speed, current wind direction. We have some nice markers here that show us when we're getting our average direction. So this is where the wind is blowing from most of the time, but it also shows us the current location at any given point in time. It updates pretty fast. It seems to update the wind speed about every two seconds. Um, we have a chart down here at the bottom that shows um, several things. You can basically, right now if it's set for the last 25 hours, that's adjustable. You can set it for the last 25 hours, last 25 days, last 25 months. Um, here is our wind speed for the last 25 hours. You can see where I set the sensor array up last night and then overnight it was a very still night and then as morning came the wind picked back up. Um, the last gust is also available there. That's within the last 10 minutes. Um, we have the inside and outside temperature, as well as the humidity, and then our barometric pressure. We can also graph any one of those things. So if we wanted to graph the humidity for the last 25 hours, that would be right there. Barometric pressure for the last 25 hours. If we go to time, that'll tell us our sunrise sunset times. And then we also can go to wind, which we have charted there. And then we can show our high and lows, and we can scroll through those. Um, so there's our Friday daily highs, 6 miles per hour, which was yesterday. Today, daily high, 14 miles per hour. And then we can toggle to the lows. You can toggle through Saturday, month, January. I've, obviously, since I've just set this up, there's not a lot of historical data in there yet. However, it does give you all that historical data should you want it.